Hey friends, it's Cassie Nowak and I'm back to share a little bit more with you of what you could do with your digital learning path. And I got this request from a teacher and she said that she wanted to use audio and then she also wanted her students to respond back with audio. So today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can incorporate audio into your learning path. So there are several times when you might want to do this. You might want to um, give directions or ex explanations. That's what I use it for a lot. But you can also do it to re read to your students if you want to do read alouds even of a story. Or maybe you have students that have um, oral administration accommodations. You can do that oral admin one time and then all of the students that need that accommodation can come on and, and read it that way. So there's lots of times that you would use this so now you can see how to. So the first thing I want to show you is a few digital stickers that I added and basically this is just a digital sticker that you would paste onto a slide when you wanted to give the students directions. So maybe you had a slide with task cards and maybe it's a difficult one that you know students might have a hard time with. Maybe you want to use this digital sticker that says here's a little hint with a place for them to click and listen to your hint. So here are some things that you can use to get you started. And now I'm going to show you how you're going to go about adding that audio into your slides. So down here in the comments, I have a couple of links. So the first link is to a program called Cloud Audio Recorder. So I'm going to open that so you can see it. So Cloud Audio Recorder is, is a cool recorder because it automatically saves it into your Google Drive so that you can access it real easily. This stuff up here is sponsored stuff and so is down here. So don't click on any of this stuff. Um, the actual program is right here in the middle. That's all you need. When you're ready to start recording, you just press start. Okay, so now I'm recording. So maybe I'm recording directions on how to play a game or something for my students. And so you're just gonna keep recording until you're done. And when you're done, you can press stop. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do is export it as an MP3. That's an audio file type. So I'm going to click that. And now you have a couple of options. You can play it to see if it sounds right to you. You can save it. But what we want to do is save it to Google Drive. So I'm going to click Save it to Google Drive. And now you get to click a folder that you want to put it in. If you open that, it will now first it's going to have you sync to your Google Drive. I've already done that, so it's not showing you that step. So just know that this is OK to sync to. And I created a file in my Google Drive called audio files. So I'm just going to click that and then press select. OK, so now I see my file there. Maybe I'm giving help on question number one, so I might just title it question number one. You don't have to title things, but it does make them easier to find later. The last thing you're going to do is click Save to Google Drive. Okay, so it has uploaded to Google Drive. I can view it, I can go to my folder, or I can download it. So I'm not really going to do any of that because I'm going to import it into my digital learning path. So I'm back here on my digital learning path, and now I want to put that audio in here. So let's say that I I'm giving a little hint, so I'm going to put that there. Maybe I would delete the other ones off and then click insert audio. OK, and now it's going to take you to your drive where your audio files are. This is the last one that I did, so I'm going to click select. OK, see how I put this little thing here? I'm just going to drag it onto the sticker right there. So when kids are ready to listen to it, now all they have to do is click hover over it and then click the play sign. Okay, so now I'm recording, so maybe I'm can recording see. direction. Okay, so that's as easy as can be. You can make as many of them as quickly as possible and really give your students a little bit of extra attention through audio. Okay, here's one extra little thing I forgot to say and that's you need to make those files shareable. So to do that, just go into your drive where you saved the files and then click the file and click the shareable link and it turns on automatically. So do that for all of your audio files or else your students won't have the permissions to see them when they click on them in their learning path. Okay, so that is one way you can do for them. I'm gonna show you another way that they can record audio for you. 
So the next slide is going to use a program called Padlet. If you haven't heard of it, go back and watch my video that came with whenever I sent the original templates for the learning path. The video on the very first slide shows you about this program, Padlet. Um, so basically, this is kind of just what the students will see. And it tells them that you want them to record their answer and it has a place for you to type your question. So maybe, um, what's your favorite food and why? Alrighty, so what you're gonna have is create your Padlet. So this is my Padlet over here that I created. And then we want the students to record their responses. And just know that it is anonymous unless they put their name here. So back in the sample slide, it shows the students exactly how to do this so that you don't have to explain it to them. It's right here. It shows them step by step how they're going to record their audio. So I'm just going to show that to you real fast so you can see. Basically, step one was to double click to get this new comment pane. Then you're going to click the more three dots. Then you click voice. Okay, and then you just start recording. So here you have the opportunity for your students to record and answer your question. When they're done, they just press stop. And then the last couple of steps are to play back. You can listen to it if you want. Title it if you want. You don't have to, but then just press save. So it's going to take the student's audio file and put it directly in the Padlet. So it is right here now. And the last thing you need to do is share this. So up here, click share, and then copy the link to your clipboard, and then go back into your learning path and share that with your students. So where it says paste the share link, I'm just gonna paste it right there. And then I'm going to select it all and press this link button just so that it turns it into a link for me. And that's it. So the students, when they see this slide, they look at your question, they go onto the Padlet, they leave their audio response, and then that's it. So now you have a couple of extra different templates that you can use with your learning path. And so what I wanna do is show you how you can take these and put them into your other one so that you have everything together. So basically, if you just hold control, you can select both of the slides over here in the slide sorter, and then just press control C to copy them and then go back into your original templates and then just paste them over in here by clicking anywhere in the slide sorter and then pressing Control V to paste them so that we have everything together and you don't have to worry about this new file anymore. All right, so I wanna show you one more really awesome way that you can incorporate audio and video into your um, distance learning. So over here, there's one more Thing I want to show you and this is an email audio recording by the way if you keep hearing that snoring noise believe it or not that is my dog I have a Boston Terrier and she snores so loud all right so let's click this link and I will show you how you can use this it's really cool um, basically it's a free video email via cloud HQ that you're gonna to add to Chrome by clicking there and then add the extension it's kind of like when we did screencastify so it's going to link up to your Gmail and your Google stuff. Okay, so I'm going to compose a new email. And right here where you see these little more tools, if you click that, you can either insert a Bitmoji or you can use this new video and send a video email. So if I click it, it is going to open this. There we go. And you're just going to have to click record and then it records whatever you want to say. Hey kids, I miss you. I hope you're having fun. Do this, 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 and this today and be nice to your parents. Okay. And then click embed video into email. And that is it. It is so simple and quick. And then you just send it. So this is a great way to communicate with your parents and to give messages that don't take forever because you don't have to type them out and then once you press send they will go i'll show you, i'll send it to myself so that you can see what it looks like okay so this is me opening that email that i got and it just 
plays it right there. Record and that. So I wanted to show you that because that is a super easy, free, fast, additional way that you can build extra cool communication into your remote teaching. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, cassienowak at gmail.com. And as I continue to make little updates to this, I'll be sure and send them your way. Have a great day.